Council Chief, the mayor put a lot of efforts to bring to the council a very organized and well balanced type of budget, hitting all those areas where the city need to spend money, even if it's not their jurisdiction, such as we were talking about, is doctors, you know, as uh, uh, homelessness and addictions and other health issues. But mayor tried to touch every issue, social issue we have in, in the Kingston. Um, this is the first time since I am living in Kingston, I saw that the money set aside particularly for road infrastructure, for the road repairs and, and park repairs. And you brought the motion for more guards. And uh, last year, city was hiring more firefighters and the police department hiring more, more policemen. <coughs> so he, he covered all the areas. As a councilor, the representative of the, the, the city, how how you feel feel about those uh, approaches for, from the mayor to tackle those issues, even if it's not our jurisdiction? Well, they're not actually included in our budget. There are separate budget lines. They're coming from our reserves because we don't want to lead uh, the wrong impression to upper levels of government saying, "Okay, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it." This is only temporary. We're going to do it, but we want you to come into the game here and doing your responsibility and paying for these so that we can deal with true municipal issues, such as fixing roads, upgrading parks the way they should be, um, adding uh, extra infrastructure. Everyone knows how badly we need a new aquatic facility, if not two, because when the mm -hmm. swimming restriction opens in about 15 seconds, 1,500 registrations are filled. So there's a lot of areas in which we're lacking, which is one, which is why I brought that in the very first thing after I got elected, because I know it would take some time to get it in. And then there are other things we've all brought, brought forward because it takes time, trying to make the city the city it can be. We know it's a nice place to live, but as Councilor Glenn also mentioned, we are growing and then when people come here, there's no doctors, what do they do after hours? And uh, we, we need these extra things to make Kingston a viable city, a sustainable c city as well. Um, not having to drive a half hour to go get your grocery or something, we need people to be walking. Like the old town, uh, our, the old part of Kingston. I remember when I grew up, I could walk to three corner stores to get whatever we wanted. And some areas, no, you can't do that. You have to get in your car and go. We're also getting more dog parks, which was something I heard about. Um, well, one or two, th three, one. The one. So, th again, most people can walk into certain areas, and I've been conversing with commissioners, and busing is coming to Westbrook, which is something is ne is quite needed because in most locations, some do have to walk a m kilometer or two, but in Westbrook. It's four to six kilometers for them to walk anywhere to get to a bus stop. So those are uh, uh, items which are beneficial to our residents to make life a little better. And, it, and better, in most cases, better for the environment as well that we're trying to do. But sometimes we have to take small steps or not do exactly what we want to do to have a greater impact because we are restricted to a 3.5 tax levy as directed by the mayor, because he said he wasn't going any higher. I would like to keep it low too, but we also have to run the city as well. There, there are inflation, the, the prices go up for everyone. Just as, as I do as a resident, going shopping, the city has the same thing. Gas prices to fill up the vehicles. Um, and maintenance of that. Maintenance of the vehicles and everything else. And the facility, yeah. So we all feel the crunch. and, and we pay the property taxes, we pay the extra inflation, so we, we do feel that, and we, cannot, we have the empathy of, of residents as well, because we, not just councillors, we are residents ourselves. So we don't want to have a 10-point tax levy. 